Hi, my friends, Adam Pecorero from Flexerero Fitness, and we're gonna be doing workout with Adam. That's me. And today we're gonna to be doing a kettlebell workout. I think kettlebells can be a lot of fun. So a lot of folks who have had a bad experience with them, and yes, there's a learning curve. I'm gonna avoid some of the more um, challenging exercises like a snatch, just so that you don't have any risk of injury to your wrist, and hopefully by doing that, if you're a little bit tentative when it comes to kettlebells, you'll give this one a try, because it is very accessible. I'm gonna be working with a 15 pound kettlebell today. So if you only have one kettlebell, that's kind of like the correlation. I want you to see me work with just one weight. If the exercise uh, weight that I'm, if the weight that I'm using for a particular exercise is too heavy, I'll make sure that I make an adjustment, but usually it's gonna end up being more of the opposite end with this weight too light. And if it is, and if you're in a similar situation, here's what I recommend. Do more reps, do higher intensity, or go slower through your motion so that you create more time under tension. And always remember the mind-body connection. If you think about the muscle group you're working, I think you get much more out of it. Before you leave a comment, I know I'm sunburned. What can you do? It happens. Wear your sunscreen, everybody. Okay, so there you go. I know I am now war paint. I have war paint. Okay, so we have seven exercises in today's workout, and a lot of them are 30 seconds one side, 30 seconds the other. Exercise number one is just that. It's a reverse lunge, swing, and catch. So I'm gonna start with the kettlebell held, and then I'm gonna step back into a reverse lunge and swing, and try to control that, and then I come back here and catch. After 30 seconds, I'll switch and do the other side. And then exercise number two is around the world to a squat. I'm gonna take the kettlebell behind my back, I'm gonna go between my legs, snap it up, similar hold as what we just did, and then squat. And at the 30 second count, we'll go the other way. Split leg squat with press. We're gonna hold the kettlebell so our knuckles are right under our chin, elbow down, kettlebell goes right here. Pick a leg, I dip, and while I'm down, I'm gonna press, I come up, everything rests. 30-30 on those first three. Then we do curls. We got two different ways to do the curls. We can hold the handle, which is a little bit harder. So if the weight is light, do that. Or we can actually hold the bell end and that will make it a little bit easier. Not easy, but less stress on your joints because the weight isn't cantilevering out so far from just this small fulcrum point that the handle is. Then we have triceps overhead extension where we put the bell behind our head and we extend up. Then we got Russian twist, which is for our abs. We're gonna do the kettlebell version of that. And then we do a shuffle swing. So when we get to these exercises on the first set, I will go back over them. Hopefully you got yourself a kettlebell, some water. Let's get a sip right before we start, like my awesome jug. <coughs> oh God, well, off to a good start. 60 seconds on, maximum reps, reverse lunge, swinging catches first. Follow along with me and we will have some fun working out and becoming the next best version of ourselves. Whatever leg steps back, that's the side you hold the handle on. So my right leg's going, tip of the day, don't smash it into your knee or anything else. That's three, try to keep my chest up, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side, elbows tight, poised and composed. One, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hey, around the world works like this. It's gonna be in my right hand to start. I go behind my back to my left, through the legs, a little squat action here. My left takes it back to the right, so that's where it started. Snaps up, I get the bell end going up, I squat, then I go the same way behind my back, through the legs, same hold and squat. We're in the 30 second bell, we'll put it on our left hand, we'll go the other way. Keep a good grip, so behind the back, through the legs, and we squat. Same way, behind the back, through the legs, and we squat. One, two, three, 
one, two, three, and squat. So our shoulders are working and our core is working in these dynamic motions. Plus, there is a hidden half squat. When you go through the limbs, that's the hidden half squat. And then the full squat. Going the other way, to my left, behind the back, to my right hand. Through the legs, goes back to my left. Snap it up so my right hand's holding the bell end. You squat, always goes behind the back, then through the legs, and then we can squat. Behind the back, and we squat. Plus you have the athletic attribute of timing, and we work a little coordination. We take something that we know pretty well, like a squat, and we make the old new again. And time. Okay, split leg squat and press. Hold your kettlebell like this. See how my knuckles are under my chin? Elbow is down, so it lays on the crook of my arm. Not out to the side, right under. Whatever side's holding the bell, put that leg behind you. About two steps in length, shoulder width like railroad tracks. We go down, hold, press, arm next to ear. When it's back under the chin, you come up, push you with that front heel. Now your knee can touch the ground if you need rest. I'm not gonna touch the ground, so I have to use my muscles to hold myself. Okay, other side. Take a moment to get everything set and controlled. This hand is just ballast. And time. Off and rolling. So first three are pretty heavy on the legs, and then that one becomes a good second shoulder exercise because we got shoulders on the around the world and then we got pressing in there now we got curls so if your weight is light you hold it at the handle curl the bell to your chin if that's too much hold the bell curl the handle to your chin pretend you're buried in sand create the tension in your body create the resistance keep your elbows tight day. If you're not proud of you for working out, let's take the day that's not so good and let's make it good. Big squeeze. Okay. Triceps overhead extension. You have to use the bell end, not the handles. It stays on the back half of your head, so we want to keep it back here, not coming over here. Two reasons. One, you might lose the kettlebell, and number two, once it crests over the center line of your head, your shoulders are taking over instead of the triceps being the emphasis. So back half of the head will keep those triceps working and the shoulders supporting. Okay, abs tight, tummy tight, no excessive back arch, just the natural back arch if we were standing upright. How do you make it harder without adding weight? Squeeze your palms into the kettlebell to create more tension and then go slower both ways. Remember, we got three sets, so we should be feeling it by the third set pretty good.
10 seconds. How about one more? Okay, buddies. Oh, they going inside out? I might be wearing my thing inside out. Could you even tell? So for your abs, we do the kettlebell version of the Russian twist. So you can have your heels down, feet up as far as because you unbalance. You recline a bit so your abs are working. And then what we do is we pick it up, put it on the other side, quick tap from where we came from before picking it back up and putting it where it returned. Quick tap with your fingertips, okay? Does my sunburn make me look cool that I'm doing the workout in, the, in, in spite of it, or do I just look stupid and in pain? I'm not in any pain, except muscular pain. <laughs> but not sunburn pain. Shuffle, swing. So we know the Russian swing, right? We use our glutes and our hamstrings as the prime movers. We keep our, we keep our stomach in tight. We brace our back in neutral spine. We do legs more than arms, and we have a little bend to our elbows, so we look like a T-Rex. The shuffle is side straddle hop. Now, if you're going to shuffle to your left, right leg moves first. And if you're gonna to shuffle to your right, left leg moves first. When we swing up, we shuffle. So we hike it, we shuffle one way and bow, then shuffle the other way and bow. Keep our chest up and you swing it right through your groin. Oh. Through your groin, not into your groin. I know, some of you just went, oh, it's looking into your groin. Yeah, that's what you do. That's how you get tough. Like those karate videos you see on the internet where someone's just getting kicked in the groin a hundred times. I don't know about you, but I don't really want to be the one to practice that. Hi, Louie. set done. Get some water. When we start again, it's a reverse lunge, swing and catch. Three seconds. Whatever side you're holding the handle on, that's the leg that moves. My 10, you got one, done. Around the world squat, 30 30 split. Whatever hand you're starting it in goes behind the back. That's the trade off between the legs. That's the trade back. Snap it to the bell with the elbows tight. Make an arm triangle and squat.
index though. Squat stance, soft knees, behind the back, half squat pass, snap it up, full squat. Behind the back, through the legs, half squat, full squat. One, two, three, and squat. One, two, three, and squat. Other side, squat. Behind the back, trade off. Through the legs, trade back. Snap it up, squat. Always start behind the back, through, and squat. My legs are gonna get a rest. Okay. Curls, biceps, followed by extensions, triceps. I'm gonna try to do everything balanced. That way, if it's the only workout you get in this week, we try to hit every major muscle group and functional movements like lunges and squatting and pressing and curling. Love this, don't you? Love the kettlebell. Good kiss. Every time. Give it a little tug. Be weird about it. No switch up at the 30. You're buried in sand. Create that tension. My workouts, you'll never have to be three hours at the gym unless you want to be. I'll show you how to work out off machines, grab dumbbells, grab kettlebells. Like, like two workouts ago, we did a barbell without stripping weight, just finding kind of like a, a weight we can move through those exercises with. Consistency is key. You work out consistently, you eat mindfully, you'll do all right. All of a sudden, you'll find that you have more time to exercise, you'll get greater results and you're gonna have a whole toolbox of different workouts and exercises. Thirty seconds left. And this is where you see if your deodorant actually works or not, right? Oh, just kidding. I always smell bad. <sighs> okay, Russian swing. Heels down is cool, heels up unbalances you. They say if you want to work the core, you need to unbalance. But if you sit with heels down and recline, you can feel stability and you'll still work your abs as long as you're consciously recruiting them. So squeeze them and recline. Over, quick touch. Back over, quick touch. Exercise range. 
Look at my sunburn. Whew. Holy crap, we missed all that. The split leg squat and press. We'll do that next before the shuffle swing. Sorry, gang. You messed up the whole thing. That's okay. Sometimes that happens. We'll put it in and we'll make it complete. Ooh. So split leg squat with press. This is the one where we load it here, we take a lunge position. And when we drop down, we press up. We'll do 30 seconds one side, 30 in the other. We're trying to get like six or seven per side. Knuckles right under chin, elbow down. You should feel pretty comfortable holding the kettlebell here. Next bell, remember keep your front knee behind your toe. Push up with the front heel. Tummy tight, tushy tight. Down. Arm next to ear. That's one. Down. That's two. Down. There's three. Down. There's four. Down. There's five. Six. And we've got to switch it up. Okay. Match six on this side, even if I gotta go over time. Okay, shuffle swing. <sighs> Glad that we remembered that one. It's down my quads are burning. So we're gonna get ready to hike it. We're gonna put the kettlebell out, give it a little tip. Weights in your heels, weights in your butt, back is strong and braced, tummy is tight and recruited. Hike, shuffle. Swing the other way, chest up, eyes up. Whew. Find your rhythm. Don't need to bounce too high. Just skip over with control. Work a little agility. Jack up our cardio. Starting to lose it there at the end. One more to grow on, gang. So we've done 14 minutes of work plus the rest intervals. Puts us at about 24 minutes. Well, that's not just rest intervals, we had an introduction too, right? Okay. Swing and lunge. Eight, 
that's done. Around the world and squat. Oh, here it comes. Oh, yeah. The customary back crack. All is aligned in the spine. Oh, 10 seconds. 10 seconds to action. Behind the back, through the legs. Snap and squat. Why do we do this? Why do we torture ourselves? Well, we didn't design our body, so just the way the body works, and no one's found a better way, is you gotta stress it and challenge it in order to break down those muscle fibers and have them grow back together, denser and stronger. So there's that. Exertion burns calories. Different dynamics gives you functional mobility and agility and mobility, other side. So we do this for those benefits. And uh, what sport are we playing? It doesn't have to be a sport. Don't work out for a sport. Then you might take an off season or, I don't know, fall out of love with the sport and then there's no need to exercise anymore. Let's work out for life. Work out for life. It's like a, a home or a car. If you maintain it and improve it, it's all good. But if you neglect it, abuse it, it's not so good. Split leg, squat with the press. This is the one I forgot last set. We gotta put it in in its rightful place. Legs will get a rest after this minute. Legs feed the wolf. Come on, let's keep working. Insane. Mind muscle connection. So when this workout's done, we'll have done quads, glutes, hamstrings, calves. And with that comes the areas of the pelvis, the lumbar. We got biceps, triceps, we got shoulders, we got abs. We're moving dynamically on the first one, second one, and the seventh exercise today. Got some good agility, coordination, and some timing skills. No push ups, no rows, but that's okay. Triceps overhead. say I was happy to be working out with you. It's true. Here we go. Oh, I can tell I 
I'm starting to get tired. This one, nice and quiet there, huh? Yeah, that's all right. I got no fans because I need you to be able to hear me. I got no music because I need you to be able to hear me. But I got you. I sit here and I think you're over there. Maybe you're working out with me. That's pretty cool. first set when this was a piece of cake. Oh. Uh, Russian twist. Remember, you can get water anytime. Just sip ounces so it doesn't slosh and make you feel nauseous. But if you're sweating, you're dehydrating. So rehydrate. Keep you feeling good. It's a good way to look at it. It's like, how much are you sweating? And then try to do a comparable amount of drinking. You, know, you don't have to get too scientific, but for example, don't drink a whole bottle of water if you're just lightly perspiring. Ooh. Ooh. I got good news. We are almost done. Hallelujah. 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 Y'all think about church when you hear that? Or just think about Nicolas Cage and face off dancing around while the choir sings. Oh. 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 We are in the last week of July. Pretty nice weather today. Two weeks ago when I was filming, we were in a hot swell. Lasted like seven days, we were getting up. 90s and 100 degree weather. That's tough to work out. This, it's like 80, this is great. Okay, last one, best one, shuffle swing. Okay, weight in the heels, little tilt on the bell. Tummy is tight, back is going to stay solid. Hut, 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 shuffle. Ooh. Come on, buddies. Priority one is to keep it clean so you can be safe. Priority two is to push it as we're done after this. Keep shuffling, keep swinging. Come on, come on. seconds and then the workout is over. Come on, my friends. Come on. Come on, buddies. I'm right here with you. Let's do it together. Let's do it together. Let's use the buddy system. Come. I go, you go. We go together. solid if you could like the video by clicking the thumbs up leave a comment anything add on your sunburn what's up with you have you ever heard of sunscreen i don't care and i'll respond to you i'll be happy to if you haven't already you've got to do me a favor and subscribe to flex Sorero fitness here on youtube that way you never miss out on a new workout and if you are interested in our entertainment channel that's just my name adam picararo p-e-c-o-r-a-r-o -R -R -O. that has your evil clowns and spider-mans all your fun entertainment videos are there. Okay, thanks so much, and I'll see you in the next workout. Now let's find a good one here. Oh, here we go. Okay. 
Your struggles develop your strengths. When you go through hardships and decide not to surrender, that is strength. I like that. 35 minutes and we are done. See you next time, friends.